Yes, my, my first work was on, um, on, on the idea of sex, of abstracting sex from uh, uh, biological bias and biological grounds. So was trying to work between uh, um, questions of sexual difference and um, gender um, differentiation. But found a space between to really work with biology and through biology. Uh, to actually argue for a model of sex that was not enclosed within an organic form or any kind of uh, cultural discursive form, neither. Um, so um, I embarked into uh, th rethinking materiality through uh, sex as information transmission, as coding, as uh, mutation, uh, to uh, achieve or to experiment with uh, an understanding of uh, feminine subjectivity, of feminine micropolitics that would not be um, represented by a specific body. So to think corporeality in terms of uh, lateral, non-linear uh, transmission of information. Um, and also to argue for a question of the feminine or trans-feminine or micro-feminine uh, that would be the first level of destratifying from biological and cultural um, sex and gender um, determinations, as it were. So whilst the work was very much arguing for a, pol a politics of immanentism, uh, whereby um, by looking already at the biological stratification, one would have to uh, re rethink the body through the strata of the body. Um, I guess my second work, uh, because was much more concerned with uh, media, or with mediation, or re thinking uh, mediation beyond immanence or beyond the biological model of, of immanence, I um, embarked into studying of computational theory, cybernetics more closely, and information theory, because I was do dealing with uh, um, co uh, digital media or, or, or kind of post-digital media or computational media. And uh, uh, the, the reason why I, I, I moved from abstract sex to contagious architecture, the idea of, contagious, uh, of contagiousness uh, for me was not just to remain on the level of biological contagion or viral, bacterial uh, contagion, uh, which I had elaborated before, but to think about contagion in terms of abstraction. So, um, how, for instance, uh, um, models of um, design used in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in architecture uh, were, for me, just a, a starting point to think about how um, computation has become contagious. Uh, so, computation becomes this kind of infrastructure to, to think media uh, in terms of codes and in terms of uh, programs, in terms of uh, um, incompleteness of logic. And, um, and so um, I saw uh, uh, architectural design as, a, as, an, as a, an opportunity to, to look at, uh, what, uh, at the, aesthetic that could, the, the aesthetic that could be produced through uh, this kind of new media um, modalities uh, which are which were in infrastructurally based on computation so a contagious although uh, is almost like a, a, a misunderstanding because you know this is contagious seems to maintain a level of biological continuity or the level of architecture i.e. that instead of looking at design models and planning or logic, uh, um, one is to look at uh, the, the contagions of the kind of biological substrate of, of modeling. Actually, for me, it was an, an opportunity to think about aesthetic uh, beyond, as it were, the biological. So the, to really think about the abstract, the, the, the concreteness of, of, of architectural uh, abstraction and how that was operated uh, or had been operated through, uh, uh, through computation already since uh, the early, late 80s, early 90s.
it's a, it's a very difficult uh, connection. Uh, it's a working through. I don't have by any means any sort out uh, uh, model for it. Uh, but um, architecture, I guess, computational architecture was interesting because it um, uh, looked at uh, or argued for uh, an understanding of space based on morphology or no standard geometry. Um, so opening up uh, kind of the Euclidean space or the kind of ground, the kind of um, mathematical ground to movement or to intensity or to transformation or to this kind of topological continuity uh, or a process philosophy. So thinking sex in terms of process uh, rather than thinking in terms of identity. Uh, but that, that is just a, it was just the first step for me then to go ahead and actually articulate or try to arti articulate how the conceptual, uh, the abstract, uh, the theoretical uh, could rather uh, create, uh, intervene onto this material level and could not just reduce, uh, could not just be reduced to the material level. So the, the material level of morphology or no standard geometry was, uh, was, a, uh, was just the, the, the first step from where one could elaborate then an aesthetic that is not just reducible to the morphological, but that demanded an abstraction. And that's why computation and computational architecture, creating models is actually a production of abstract thought uh, and not just a kind of representation of of uh, the material morphologies through which one can think of space uh, in a non-Euclidean way. The architectural design of the summer school mm -hmm. is, um, uh, I think, is, is, is kind of heterogeneous to the extent that uh, I can see uh, how much uh, uh, different levels of work are, are actually employed here, how you uh, have made out uh, a school out of, you know, your, your kind of um, commitment to critical thought. So the architecture for me is a critical architecture uh, that uh, um, is open to be challenged in terms of methodologies and parameters or school of thoughts. Uh, and tries to engage with them and incorporate and expand. So the architecture, although it's very local, it feels completely resonating across the kind of debate uh, that we have in critical thinking or in gender and women, uh, gender and transgender studies. Um, and is able to, to cut across uh, uh, different kind of methodologies. That's what I find interesting, that the methodology or the thinking how, how to produce critical thought is, uh, is a proliferating architecture, but it's also a way for you to archive or to produce certain kind of uh, uh, direction, give certain kind of direction in, in this very um, uh, irregular um, a mutating uh, field of intervention, especially vis-a-vis -vis sexualities and politics. So I think it's a, it's a building up architecture and it's not just a, I don't see it as only breaking down architecture, it's actually an architecture that breaks, is able to construct out of the little kind of fragments, but um, Yes, it's, it's an experimental project and um, I can see there's a lot of work in it and it's loadable.